juice bar here. Very good, thank you. I always got a tip. As an American, it's my duty to tip. You know, it's really a shame that uh, other cultures don't believe in tipping. I know everyone thinks, ah, oh, pay a fair wage, pay a fair wage, which I agree with that 100%. However, what they don't realize is the service that you get in a tipping culture is significantly better than the service that you get in a non-tipping culture. And, and frankly, I mean, I, I guess I enjoy being served, what can I say? But I, uh, I tend to be a generous tipper, and I, I think that tipping is the uh, best way to go. Uh, the level of service is just significantly better, and, and like I said, I guess I like to be served, but uh, hey, let's hear about it, you know? I know a lot of people uh, will disagree with that sentiment, but uh, not saying you shouldn't pay a fair wage. Uh, employees should get paid a fair wage, but uh, tipping certainly incentivizes the employee to take better care uh, of the guest than, than a uh, restaurant where tipping is not encouraged. So I've heard that there's little shops that uh, let you taste various rums. I haven't come across those. I mean, that's a fancy mall in there, but I don't think I don't think we'll go into the mall. But perhaps we'll walk around it a little bit. You know, I'm not a not a mall shopper. You can buy that shit anywhere. Pretty fancy mall. Hmm, what wildlife are they taking pictures of, I wonder? Let's see. Looks to be ah, some more iguanas or lizards of some type. Sunning themselves. He's just nodding his head. Oh, there's a green one too. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> it's like Lizard Island. like there's too much more down here. This is just the entrance to the marina, but while we're here, we 
Might as well go look at some boats. Nice little catamaran there. I suppose these uh, these are the poor people boats. Uh, the bigger boats are all parked at the back. You know, I'm sure someone very poor owns this boat. Just a tiny little sailboat, of course. The Dreamweaver. Yup, that's the boat for me. I suppose if I had to, I would take any of them. There, maybe I can afford that, uh, that little black cylinder there. Probably not, though. Ah, there, down there. Those are the boats that I can afford. So, this is where the peasants like me must stop. But, uh, fun to look at nonetheless. Looks like a nice little restaurant out there on the uh, on the water. Maybe we'll try that. Can't see it, but the uh, the old castle or fort on top of the hill. You can maybe see the flag there. I'm guessing that's Fort St. Louis. Only because that's the. Uh, Fort St. Louis Marina. So when we venture up there, I'm sure we'll get the answer to that. Get out of the road before these guys kill me. Apparently they were in a hurry. Wine bar for the winos. Not so much for me. I did hear there's a uh, a great place that has wine and some wonderful charcuterie boards. So we're looking at all those guys pulling wheelies. Holy shit! As you can see, the mango drink was absolutely awful. The real problem is, where do I recycle the cup? I have a feeling this is probably more of a throwaway type place than a recycle place, but as you know, I'm a big fan of being as environmentally uh, friendly as possible. Not that I'm a tree hugger by any means, but uh, why not recycle it? No more difficult than throwing it away, pending you can find a recycling bin somewhere. That's the entrance to the mall. We're not going in there though. Now I did see a place up here that says they sell Cuban cigars. 
might go check it out. I don't really smoke cigars, but you know, maybe I'll buy a Cuban just because I can and uh, take a puff or two on it, but uh, I'm not really a, a cigar kind of guy, but uh, hey, when you can have a new opportunity, you might as well capitalize on that. Uh, so why the hell not? Man, so not only have I not seen a recycling can, I haven't even seen a trash can. So clearly they just didn't make my mango drink large enough, I guess. So Rolex store there, clearly. Yo, oh, that may be a trash can there. Uh, but yeah, if anyone wants to send me a Rolex, I will be happy to wear it. I'm an Apple Watch kind of guy now, but believe me, if someone sent me a Rolex, I would, I would wear it. So one thing uh, to note, seems like pretty much everywhere here, one euro is in parity to one dollar if you pay in cash. Now if you do pay in card, it seems like they uh, they charge you the exchange rate there, but uh, it is nice to be able to use a card. Uh, yeah, I think I'll probably get a, a Monte Cristo, Cristo because I can. <laughs> um, but 
I mean, uh, you have big black dick cigars over there. That's hilarious to me. I may have to try one of those, too. Okay, we have 50% off in front. Okay. So you get a good deal at the big black So, I guess I'll... I'll get one of these long ones. I just grab it. Beautiful. And I guess I'll grab one of these too, huh? Why not? Alrighty. And you guys sell matches as well up front? smoke these anywhere? Yeah, you can smoke it on the street. Smoke it on the street. Yeah. Excellent. So can you cut it for me then as well? Sure. Beautiful. I'll you follow. Can cut No, thank you. <laughs> It's a nice shop. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. I will. And I can just light this outside, no problem. Outside, and we are going to smoke this Monte Cristo from Havana, Cuba, out here in public. Believe it or not, that is allowed. cigars seems like a smoking deal pun intended obviously so is it a real Cuban cigar who knows but uh, we're going to say that it is so I think we'll uh, walk back to the condo and uh, smoke the cigar out by the beach
And that's where we had lunch there at Che Coco. Chez Coco, I don't know. Looks like most of the little uh, marketplace sellers are closing up for the day. Which is fine, because let's be honest, we're not buying anything anyway. Guess as nicely as the cigar comes along, it's really not my cup of tea. taking it out to their yacht. Let's go see if we can figure out what this action is over here. about but they sure seem passionate about it yeah, she seemed a lot more happy so the church van is also apparently a vendor's van with a very low he should probably get that checked before he drives it, but I have a feeling that automobile maintenance is not one of the island's strong points. As, uh, you know, most islands, uh, I would say that's, that's the truth. In the Bahamas, I rode on a bus with completely bald tires. Maybe not the wisest decision of my life, but hey, I survived. Unfortunately, threw mine away prior to finding them.
conch is a shell there, see that? Lobster tuna. <laughs> I do have a, uh, a small hot plate in the condo, so maybe I'll come buy some fish tomorrow and get some fish myself for lunch. The tan far building is the condo building that I'm staying in. It's really a studio that I'm in, you know, just a, a bathroom with a living room and a, and a bed, not a separate bedroom there. But that's fine. Oh, I think this is a graveyard over here to the left. Let's cross over and take a look, shall we? I feel like these island areas, they, they have their graves above ground. Yeah. I guess some of them are below ground, but there's an empty one. I think they uh, entomb them like that because of hurricanes and floods. You know, if it was just in the dirt, it would perhaps wash them away, so they build them out of concrete or brick or tile or whatever else. <coughs> well, so I'm having this Cuban cigar. It tastes like, you know, a cigar, honestly. It's burnt tobacco. I wish that I could say it was the most delicious thing I've had all day, but uh, that would probably be the the uh, conch, perhaps for lunch, or perhaps the espresso I had at breakfast. That was pretty tasty. I mean, the croissant was great, too. So I guess the key with a cigar is you puff on it, put the smoke in your mouth, but don't inhale it, which is fine. I'm not trying to go into a coughing fit, but it does, uh, there is a, a distinct flavor there. 
coats the entire mouth. I'm sure, it's just great for my teeth. <laughs>